one? Started this recording late. We are halfway through round one. We have round two coming up. Apologize, I started late. But we are in it. Push up walks are coming up now. We ready? Let's do it. Two each direction. Out, in, out, in. Reset. Outside, inside, outside, inside. Here we go. Keep that core nice and stable. Keep it flat to the ground. If you get fatigued, again, we're on our knees. This is perfectly fine. Once you feel like you can get back up, go ahead and pop back up. You can with the hand in the direction you're going. We have 10 more seconds. Keep it going, we're almost there. Three, two, one, time. Good job. We are going with an arrow crunch, nice and simple. Feet are on the floor, knees are up, leaving a little space, hands are together, and we're just trying to get in between our knees. That's all we're doing. We have a minute of it. We start in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. We're working the upper abs right now. If you want to take a little rest and extend up, that's fine. In fact, I'd probably encourage hands over the head, take them back, so you get a full range of motion. We're 20 seconds in. You want to make it just slightly harder? You can put your feet further away from your body. And that gives you room to try to crunch your lower back up off the floor. Don't count yourself, go ahead and give that a try. Fifteen more seconds. Next we're down to ten. <clears throat> Stay strong. Get two more good reps in. Three, two, one, and time. Good job. All right, last plank exercise. One more ab exercise, and we're on to our lunge circuit, and then we'll do this whole thing over. Everybody feeling okay? Yeah. Awesome. All right, we're gonna go inchworms. So we're in a plank. We're gonna walk our hands, walk our hands to our feet. Stand up, catch our breath, walk them back out. Once we're stable, we're gonna tippy toe in, hop up. Back down and tippy toe it back up. All right. Start in eight seconds. Five seconds to go. We're going to start off in the plank. Hands or feet first, your choice. One minute. Let's do it. Keep that core nice and tight so you're not flopping all over. <coughs> Walk it back. We're halfway through it. That's 30 seconds in. You need to take a break. Go ahead and take it. The smaller the steps, the more you have to engage the core to keep your balance. We have two more seconds to go. If you can't get another breath in, just go ahead and hold that plank. Four, three, two, one, and time. Great job. Go front yeah, or back no. only. Front towards, backwards, up. All right, last half of this circuit. Heavier weight if you have it. Legs are fine, no weight is fine as well. Feet are on the ground, knees are up. It's like a wave and then up. If you have a weight for the first 30 seconds, all you're gonna do is twist and reach up. As you're twisting, you're pushing with this oblique and you're pulling with this side. So if you wanna get the other hand 
just to kind of help you remember what you're doing, that's fine. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. If you have a weight and it gets too heavy, put it down and just keep going without the weight. All right, here we go, let's get into it. Feet down, knees up, here we go. We're twisting. We're just staying right here, right in this spot. We're 10 seconds in. If you get tired, put it down and work on that same motion. You can even pull your body back if you need to. If you want to grab the weight again, that's fine. Five seconds here, then we're going to switch sides. And switch. Same thing. We're just working on trying to get it up overhead and we're twisting our core to get the balance. If your feet are starting to walk away from you, Go ahead and put them just slightly further in front. Again, if you get tired, put it down. Keep that same motion. You're just pressing to the ceiling. Five more seconds. Two, one, and time. Whew, great job, grab a quick drink. We are going into our lunge circuit. Looking great. Okay, we're going to go lunge drops first. We're holding a lunge position. All we're doing is we're holding a lunge and we're just going to do basically like single leg squats, but in a lunge position. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Try not to let this foot do all the pushing. So if you need to take it out wider, bring in more, whatever it is. You want the front leg to do the majority of the work. And 30 seconds in, we'll switch. You can grab weights if you want. If not, that's fine too. I'm gonna go no weights here. First leg. Upper body is nice and tall. Start in three, two, one. Here we go. We're just working right here. This is all it is. If you start doing this, make sure you're tall. Look at yourself in the screen. Upper body's tall. Lower body's doing the work. That's 15 seconds in. We have 15 more seconds on this leg, and then we'll switch. As you get tired, go slower. Engage that leg. Don't make the back leg do the work. Five seconds, we switch. Quick transition. Here we go. Switch it. Come on right here. Dip it in. Front leg is doing the work. Glutes, quadriceps, core, everything is working right now. We're halfway through on this leg. Ten more seconds. Starting to burn. There we go. Three, two, one, time. All right, next thing we're gonna do, if you have a weight, you can keep it light. We're gonna do reverse lunges and we're gonna pass the weight to ourselves between our legs. So if I step back with my right, the weight's in my right. So back and switch, back and switch. What this is gonna force you to do is not lean forward, it's gonna make you sink through your hips so you can pass that weight to yourself. And we're up. Okay, so we'll have a minute of that in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, keep that foot flat on the floor. Here we go. I'm gonna go at an angle here so you can see what's going on. We're alternating our feet. When you weights in your heel, when you come up, Rotate it through your arch. There we go. 25 seconds. Wow. If you have something heavier and you want to go to it, that's fine. We're halfway through. Really focus on that deep drop. If you think about it being deep, you'll go down through your hips as opposed to going through your knees. 
Ten more seconds to go. Whew, I know it's burning. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Great job. Okay, we're going to take some of the pressure off of our individual legs, and we're going to go with figure eights in a squat. And of course, we're going back to lunges. We're going to go here. We're in our nice low squat. It's important that you engage your core so your knees aren't wobbling. And we're going to pass the weight between our legs from front to back. You're naturally going to be hunched over just a little bit. Just make sure you're not fully sticking your hips back and using your back for everything. So it's here. Back and forth. Halfway through, we'll switch directions, and that forces you to get even lower. Okay? Front to back first in 10 seconds. We got this. Three, two, one, get in your squat. Once you're comfortable, from front to back. Keep that head still, and it's just your core that's rotating your trunk. Oh. Legs are staying down. If you need a break, take it, and get right back to us. We're 20 seconds in. At the 30 second mark, we're gonna switch and pass it from back to front. And switch directions, here we go. So now you really gotta get down there and kind of roll it from hand to hand. If you need to do it like a baton the long way, that's fine too. If your quads are burning more than your glutes, make sure you're upright. If your glutes are burning more, make sure you're low enough. Oh, I first. 10 seconds to go. Yeah. You have to pass it Almost there. Three, two, one. Time. Woo! Shake them out. How are we doing? All right, slightly heavier. If you have something a little bit bigger, weight wise, <clears throat> we're going to go reverse lunge, curl, press, down, down, and back up. So only one leg should be working at a time but we're getting that upper body back involved. Start this up in 10 seconds. We're almost through it. And let's go. Reverse lunge. While you're down here, curl, press, down, down, lift it up. Reverse lunge, curl, drop. Drop and back up. On your own pace. Stay in control. Speed and number of reps right now don't matter. It's about making sure the muscles are firing and you're stabilized and you feel the burn. 20 more seconds. There, keep going. Whew. Five seconds, still one more good rep in. And time, good job. Right. That looks great. We are done with our first round. Grab a drink. Okay. It's hard. Do you feel okay? Yeah. Okay, we're going to snap through all those. And we're only going to go 30 second increments because it's already 1230. So we'll start with our wall sits with shoulder raises to the pulse, uh, to the pulse squats with the weights, and then the slow to quick. So whenever you get your drink, let's get back into it. Got all 30 seconds. We're going to try to take as few breaks or as short breaks as possible. 
moving forward here so we can snap through it. Only 30 seconds of work per exercise. Here we go, seven seconds, five, four, we're in a good squat with shoulder raises. I'm not even in the screen there I am. Here we go, we're in it. We go out, forward, whichever way you want to go. We're at five seconds already. We've already worked for 12. Great job. 10 more seconds. If you're up against the wall, you can be more parallel to your upper body. If you're just squatting, it's probably around your knees. Three, two, one. Weights down safely. Let's hold my screen here. Okay, get your heavier weight if you have it. We're gonna go pulse and hold. Let's go. We're in it. Squat and pulse. Right here. Knees controlled. Back. Make sure your neck's not tense. When you get tired, you want to straighten your face and your neck and your shoulders. If you need to hold the weight down here, that's fine too. All that talking, we're already 20 seconds in. Five seconds. Two, one, and time. All right, we're going slow, down, quick, up. So as a reminder, we'll start here. Slow on the drop, quick on the squat, on the lift. Quick on the press, slow and slow. We're starting in five. Two, one, 30 seconds, let's go. Quick up, quick up. Slow down, slow down. We're 10 seconds in. Ten more seconds. Keep your control. Hips go back first on the squat. Three seconds. Time. Great job. All right, get your mat or whatever you're doing your planks with arm and leg raises. Oh, sorry, I was just reading whatever. Okay, here we go. Plank position, arm out or up or out, your choice, and then straight legged back lift. Let's go, 30 seconds here. I know it's shorter time, stay in control, don't rush the movements. Working your shoulder blades on the arm lifts, working the glutes and hamstrings on the leg lifts. Core stays stable. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Good job. We're flipping. Russian twist. Weights if you want them. None if you don't. We're just tapping our sides. Three, two, one. Here we go. Feet stay on the ground. Or at least heels. Knees are up. Tapping alongside our hips. Oh. Yes, it's burning. It feels pretty good. Ten more seconds to go. Keep it working. Five seconds. Don't let your back round out. Two, one, time. All right. Push up taps. Push up taps. We're just straight here, nice and controlled movements. Three seconds, two, one, here we go. Nice and controlled. See how the upper body is not rocking? The abs are keeping the upper body stationary. If you need a break, get on your knees for a second. Pop back up when you're ready. We're over halfway through. Feet should be a little bit wider than a regular push-up. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Alternating V-ups. Alternating V-ups. If you'd rather just do bicycles, that's what I'm gonna do. Put my hands back here and just working on twisting or with my upper body. 
Or in three seconds. Two, one, here we go. Working on bringing those knees to the chest while rotating the upper body. That's 10, and you go. You get tired, don't start to slouch. Keep that back down. You need to take a break from that. Put your hands behind you. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, time. Woo! Push up walks are next. We're going laterally again. We're working on whichever way you're going. That arm goes first. For two, switch directions. Switch lead arm. It's only 30 seconds. Try to stay in push-up position the whole way. Three, two, one, let's go. Feet are going and mirroring your arms. Left arm, left foot, left arm, left foot. Halfway through. Five more seconds. And time. Whew, good job. Arrow crunches. A little bit easier. Feet are down. We're working on straight. Arms over the head, back behind you. And bringing the hands to the, the middle of your knees, getting your back slightly off the ground. Start in five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Back between the knees. Back between the knees. Try to get your lower back off the ground. Push strength, not just rocking momentum. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, time. Whew. Good job, everybody. Inchworms, inchworms. 30 seconds of this. Walk the hands, walk the feet. We have five seconds. You should be able to go one time down and back with hands, one time down and back with feet. Here we go, we're in plank position. Let's do it. Walk it in. Stand. Walk it back out. Oh, it's only with the hands. Walk. Up. Oh. Oh. Seven seconds. Sean's not very concerned. Oh, first it goes through the arms and then through the legs. Good job. All right, arm press twist. Back of the abs. Only going 15 seconds each side. Grab a weight if you want it. Again, we're in a kind of a crunch. Our upper body is taller than a normal crunch. And we're just working on rotating the trunk and pressing the weight overhead. 15 seconds each way. Starting five. Three, two, one, let's go. Press it over. Using the abs to twist and propel the weight in the air. We're halfway through this side. Five more seconds. And switch. Twist the core to press the weight. That's eight seconds. Five more. Three, two, one, and time. Good job, we are on to the lunges. We're going lunge drops. 15 seconds per leg. So we're gonna be in a walking lunge type position and we're just dropping through the hips. We'll start in five seconds. Three, two, set it up. 15 seconds here, let's go. Down and up. Look at yourself on the screen. If you can, make sure that upper body is staying tall. And switch. 
down through the hips so your glutes and your quads are working. It's not just one or the other. Three, two, one, and time. All right, we're gonna pass the weights between the legs. I know. With our lunges. Reminder is to step back and switch them, step up. Step back and switch, come back up. Give a little longer break here. Five seconds. It starts with a step back. Here we go now. Back, switch them. Up, back, switch them. Keep that chest tall. So you're forced to drop down and get a full motion in the lower body. We're over halfway there. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, good job. Okay, the next thing we've got, figure eight passes. Figure eight passes. Lighter weight. We'll go front to back for the first 15, back to front for the second 15. Start in five seconds. Three, let's get into your squat. And here we go, front to back passes. Try to keep that head perfectly still. You're balancing a pizza. You wanna keep that core strong so your body can rotate and pass. And switch directions. Now you gotta get really low, back to front. You can go baton style if you need to. Halfway through this one. Five more seconds. Two, one, time. Great job. Whew. Last thing, reverse lunge into a curl press and step up. We'll burn it out to end and call it a day. We'll start in five seconds. Again, it begins with a reverse lunge. Curl and press while you're down there. Three, two, one, here we go. Down, curl, press, down, down, up. Keep that upper body nice and tall, even when you drop down. 20 seconds in, 10 more to go. Five seconds. Three, two, one, time. Good job. All right, shake it out a little bit. We've got a 33, 30 second exercises as our burnout. Excuse me, four. So we have two more minutes of work and then we're calling it a day. The first thing, we're gonna stationary, quick feet. Next one is gonna be squat front kicks for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna go squat walks. So we're just staying low, tap the heel on the walk. On the way backwards, tap the toe first. Okay, 30 seconds of that. And then 30 second diagonal reaches. So it'll be tap and jump, tap and jump for 30. All right. I'll give you 10 seconds in between each one to regroup. But we're starting in five seconds. Quick feet and punches. Three, two, one, here we go. Coordination, it's not my strong suit after quarantine. No, It's really just how I've always been. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Okay, next. Straight out of ceiling from insanity. Drop, straight kick. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Here we go. Squat, front kick. Squat, front kick. On your own pace. 
Come on, kick me. The foot. <laughs> Halfway through. Try to kick with your heel. Toes are pointed up. It's not just a floppy fish kick. Two, one, time. Okay, next one are squat walks. However far you can go on our heels. So it's going through the glutes and then backwards on our toes without your knees coming out too far. So we'll walk forward and backward on your own. Three, two, one, 30 seconds, here we go. Stay in this. It's not about distance. It's about engaging your glutes. Going back, engaging your quads. Ten more to go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Time. All right. We're going tap in front and jump. Tap in front. If you need to take a gather step in between, that's fine too. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, last 30 seconds of the day. I'm taking the gather step, it looks like that. <laughs> Almost there. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Whew. Great job today. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Quick hand. Thank you. Turn on the one. Turn on the video. That was a productive 45 minutes, right? Thank you. That was to Frida and Belko. What'd you say? <laughs> It's like listening to a podcast when you run. Very intense. Very, very good. Very good, though. It keeps us. We almost died, but we'll recover. That's not the goal. That's not the goal. No, it was great. It was great. It thank was great. Really thank you so great. much. Thank you. It was great. great. Really good. My pleasure. Thank you for joining. You're welcome. See you next Wednesday. Sounds good. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> oh.